in college they what they do uh, they want to teach us everything so like we don't have a mastery in a single thing like we know basics of everything but we don't have a master over a single skill so like here we can have a single thing we can hold hand of one stream and then walk with it one of the most visited session of mine was the gym session and in gym like uh, there is a option to generate a random question so okay. what i used to do uh, every day at least two random questions like i used to like apart from the daily assignment i used hmm. to go in gym and generate two random questions and solve okay. them hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel i hope you all are doing good we are back with a new video this video is going to be really special for someone who is a fresher and wants to start coding as soon as possible even if you are a working professional looking to transition into coding uh, you will find it extremely helpful so watch this video till the end and before moving forward take a moment to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you get notification for all our upcoming videos so for this session we have aman shake with us aman shake completed his btech in computer science last year only and right after that he joined akio job uh he has been studying with us uh since then and now he is finally placed in pratiti tech as a java backend developer at 5 lpa in this session we will be discussing how he did that how his experience was with akio job and any tips and tricks he would like to share with upcoming coders out there so do make sure that you watch this video till the end welcome aman uh, congratulations on finally getting placed in pratiti as a backend developer yeah hi yeah thank you so much Uh, great so uh, aman can you tell us a little bit about your background okay so like uh, i have graduated from mit edit in 2022 from computer science and engineering background okay and uh, you graduated last year only right 2022 yeah 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 so uh, aman you just mentioned that you have done your graduation in computer science only right and you are pretty much a fresher so uh, how did you get to know about akio job and why did you think of you know uh, studying coding full time from a boot camp even though you were doing uh, your graduation in computer science already uh, okay okay so like um, uh, from campus uh, i got offer to work uh, in a company uh, it was also a software company but uh, after that i had different plans like uh, i was working on some of my projects on myself then after that like uh, i thought i need to upgrade my skills so okay. then i search for different boot camps online and i found that akio job has good reviews and ratings overall so okay. that's why i have moved forward with akio job okay so aman you got to know about akio job on your own right and then you decided to study with us uh, so can you just tell us see you are someone who was also already studying computer science in college right so you were following a curriculum which was given by a college right so can you just tell us uh, what difference have you faced or you know what difference have you noticed between uh, how a college teaches the entire computer science you know subjects and how a boot camp oh. teaches you can just tell us the pros and cons and what things that you liked here in akio job okay first of all the main thing uh, and i guess the most important one are the mentors the okay. mentors are pretty good like even if they taught us uh, at single time uh, everything is understood completely like mm-hmm. mentors are good and also the, the doubt support uh, is active whole day we can ask our doubt any time we want and okay. apart from that the curriculum is also up to the industry level i guess it's good like in college like they do, they don't taught, uh, they don't teach us this uh, industry level syllabus like they are lacking mm-hmm. behind in this skills Mm-hmm. they uh, like in college they what they do uh, they want to teach us everything so like we don't have a mastery in a single thing like we know basics of everything but we don't have a master over a single skill so like here we can have a single thing we can hold hand of one stream and then walk with it great great so i think uh, that much of mastery uh, in any one specific uh, topic is missing in college uh, so that was something which you uh, found here in akio job and of course the mentors that are available to solve your questions throughout uh, great aman so uh, one, uh, one more question that i would like to ask uh, you have taken computer science in your graduation as well and you right you did not even graduate and you joined the boot camp so 
you are someone who has always had an interest in coding so can you tell us like what was the reason behind developing this interest in coding and who introduced you to coding basically yeah so like uh, mostly um, I, the first time i saw someone code was my seniors in college and okay. after that uh, i was interested in computers from childhood only mm-hmm. and i wanted to learn about coding and all the stuff how a computer works and all the thing so oh. that's the one of the reason like why i chose this okay great um yeah. so um, after joining acquio job if you have used uh, obviously you have used the acquio job portal there are a lot of things available there right you can uh, use a uh, chat section uh, doubt mm. section also and you can do a lot of question from the gym section as well uh, so can you just maybe tell us one thing that has helped you the most uh, for cracking this job because uh, many students use different different aspect uh, you know and what was uh, your reason that you know that helped yeah, you the yeah, most yeah. in this job yeah. okay so like uh, one of the most visited section of mine was the gym section and mm-hmm. in gym like uh, there is a option to generate a random question so okay. what i used to do uh, every day at least two random questions like i used to like apart from the daily assignment i used mm-hmm. to go in gym and generate two random questions and solve okay. them Like why random? Because like I mix back mix. Uh, I can also practice some mix back question like without tags. So mm-hmm. that's why. Okay. That so happens. apart from the assignments that you were doing regularly, you were also practicing two random questions from gym on a daily mm-hmm. basis. Okay. Correct. Great, Aman. ठीक है. So uh, now let's talk a little bit about your interview experience at Pratiti. Uh, tell us from the beginning, like how did uh, you apply for it, and what all selection criteria do they have, and the kind of questions that they ask in the interview. Okay. So like, uh, uh, I I got a drive link on WhatsApp, and mm-hmm. after that, um, I I got a mail that my resume was shortlisted. Then. my first interview round was scheduled with the co-founder so like after the first round i got um, i got a mail that i was shortlisted for uh, another rounds then in second mm-hmm. round like they asked some medium level dsa questions not that tough uh, but the thing was like he was asking me to modify that question like uh, i have solved that question then again a follow up follow up follow up that there were two two to three follow ups for the same question after that some theoretical questions Hmm. and on oops on oops and all then i got a mail that i was shortlisted and okay then process was over okay so these uh, were questions were asked in just one round or were there like two rounds for this two rounds two rounds okay so first wale mein they asked you basic dsa question and the second uh, one they asked you oops and system design yeah correct okay great so ye dono to technical round the iske baad aman was there a hr round as well no like uh, the first round included both the things tech plus hr okay got it so is this a yeah. startup company uh, pratiti uh, yeah we can say okay like mid size we can say theek hai so you are saying ki unke jo hr ke bhi questions the wo first two rounds mein hi included the okay so can you maybe tell us the kind of questions that they asked related to hr like non technical questions ha ah, okay okay um like he mostly asked me about strength and weaknesses and then the introduction and all the thing basics and mm-hmm. then after that actually i don't remember any more <laughs> okay so i think uh, strength and weakness wala question hi hai jo i i mean i would like to ask your inputs on that kyunki uh, uh, like a lot of people try to lie about it you know just to mm. act in the interview so tell us how do you tackle uh, you know telling about your strengths and weaknesses in an interview yeah just uh, like Uh, before before going on interview i searched on net like all the types of questions but like mm-hmm. it was not like i was not happy with it like because everything was like well prepared all the things i just mm-hmm. got into interview without preparing that question and i told what are my real strength and my real weaknesses that's it okay. so you did not uh, also like initially took uh, hr interview sessions mock interview sessions yeah, yeah i took but also in that also i didn't prepare for that questions i just Achoo. told what i yeah what are my strengths and weaknesses okay great so you are saying ki a person should be just honest about his strengths and weaknesses and should yeah. not lie yeah okay great great aman theek hai so uh, that was your interview experience at uh, pratiti so now that you have already joined in this company aman can you just tell us your experience how has it been so far how is the work culture like what are you liking the best okay so the com- uh, the work culture is good and 
the environment is also good everyone is inspiring everyone is working hard so after looking to them like we also got inspiration like we have we have to also work hard and all the things hmm. and um, and yeah that's it okay great on just one more thing that i would like to ask you are a recent graduate right you just graduated last year only and you are a, uh, pretty much a fresher and so far you are doing really well so can you uh, mm. j- like you know just share few tips and tricks someone can follow who is also looking forward to make a career in coding and they can follow those uh, tips and tricks so that their uh, whole coding journey is a little bit smoother okay uh, i have been asked this question many times before with uh, like and also on my linkedin i keep on sharing this like just i just have one tip just keep uh, keep a good grip on dsa mm-hmm. dsa is your best friend that's it and like keep one to two projects uh, for dev purposes development purposes but um, focus more on dsa that's it okay so just work on your fundamentals and every day practice dsa questions as soon as you yes, get that yes. right you will be able to crack a good company yes okay. dsa can Great. take you anywhere Great. Okay, Aman. So one last question I would like to ask. Uh, you got placed quite early, right? And uh, you are a fresher. So can you tell us what was your parents' reaction when they finally got to know that you've gotten a job? Yeah, like obviously they were happy. Okay. Great. See, yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, cool, Aman. So last question. You have already joined in the company, and your uh, work hours must be pretty tight, right? So. will you be continuing studying with aqua job or you will be giving yourself some rest for some time uh, yeah like uh, i i uh, i have decided to uh, take a rest for one week at least and then okay. after that i'll again continue with it okay great uh, you yeah. must be studying the back end portion now right yeah like i was currently in my advanced dsa okay great 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 so yeah ki kaman Cool. And so that will be all from my end. Uh, these are the questions I had in mind. Thank you so much, uh, Aman, for taking out time to do this with us. I'm sure people will find inspiration from you and start coding as soon as possible and focus on fundamentals, uh, right? And thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. That was it for today's video, guys. I hope you all liked it with Aman. Please like and share the video, and don't forget to comment down below your queries so that we cover them in our next testimonial video. And if you guys are also excited to learn coding, just go to our website and register for the aptitude test. This test will help you discover which course is best for you. Both courses have amazing instructors from top IT companies and access to one-on-one sessions with exceptional coders to mentor you for your next coding job. So don't miss out on this incredible opportunity. Simply. click on the link provided in the description below to learn more and register and if you guys are new to the channel then don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you get notifications for all our upcoming videos thank you so much